Yes. Sir, Mr. Claremont Diaz is at the gate. He insists on seeing you. Can we please talk? I'm going to let you say what you need to say, and then I'd like you to leave. What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy, and then you disappear without saying a word? I think you at least owe me an explanation. I have done nothing but explain myself to you this past year. I don't know what more you want me to say, and I don't appreciate you barging in here in the middle of the night. Well, I'm sorry I can't turn my feelings off as easily as you. D do you honestly think this is easy for me? What else am I supposed to think? You won't talk to me. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing! I've been losing my mind this week because the man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. I flew across an ocean. I, I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything. And if this is over, I at least deserve to know why. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alex, for once, I wish you could see me for who I am and not who you want me to be. Sometimes, I don't think you know me at all. I'm not like you. I can't afford to be reckless. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. I have centuries of history bearing down on my shoulders. My life is the crown and yours is politics and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you and want you and, and still not want that life. I'm allowed, right. And it doesn't make me a liar. It makes me a man with some infinitesimal shred of self-preservation and you don't get to come in here and call me a coward for it. I would never call you a coward. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. That is simply not possible, and you know it. Fine. I'll leave. And you can live in your tower and protect your heart for the rest of your life, and nothing will ever happen to you. But Henry, Nothing will ever happen to you. So if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please, don't make me. It is the only way you're getting rid of me. Because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I have found with you. And if you think otherwise and you don't know me, so tell me to go, Henry, and I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. Wait. There's something I want you to see.